What's going on guys? This is I Frank and welcome to something a bit different today. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Okay, so I never thought I'd actually be making a video on this guy, mainly because I used to really enjoy this guy's content, like, I used to be a massive Ryan Franklin fan, like, I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, I put out a tweet about him, like, I think it was like a month ago, I basically just tweeted this. And that's why I was debating on whether to make this video, because I thought, if I make this now, I'm just going to look like a retard, because I tweeted about him being one of my favourite YouTubers a few weeks ago. But, like I said earlier, I did used to like this guy, and when I say I did used to like this guy, I meant I did used to like this guy. Well, obviously... I think I started watching him when he had around 20k or something like that. But the more subs that this guy's started to gain, he's just turning into more of a twat. Like, he started clickbaiting really bad. And also, he, he's like making videos, like bragging about his money and stuff. It's like he bought this Gucci hat and he was there flexing about it, saying, like, oh, oh, look at me, I got a Gucci hat. Like, oh, sorry, mate, someone's hard, didn't they? Oh, has he got a Gucci hat? He's hard, he is. Like, mate, th they're about 200 pounds that really isn't a lot of money well i mean i suppose it is but bragging about having 200 pound hats i just don't even know like at least with people like rice gum they're bragging about like gucci tops and like supreme stuff which is worth thousands of dollars but i mean bragging about a 200 pound hat oh god <laughs> So that's basically one thing I wanted to go over. It's just the fact that he's bragging about money and stuff. Like, look at this clip. If I can find the clip, I'm going to play it, like, right now. Watch this. Uh, all of that. He's literally sat there, like, throwing pound notes and stuff. Not pound notes, ten pound notes and, like, twenty pound notes and stuff. Like, he's some big man. Um, for starters, right, I don't really want to make fun of his views. I'm not making fun of his views at all. Like, this guy gets about 20k views a video, I think. Like, that's not a low amount of views. I'd love that views in a video. Like, if I was getting, like, 20k a video, I would be very happy. But what you've got to realise is, 20k views, it really isn't that much money. Like, I think it's, like, ten pounds or like $20, somewhere around that. So you're making about £10 a video and if you're uploading like, say if you upload like every day, that's basically like £10 a day. So when you think about it, you're probably making about £300 a month and I know you're probably not like, yeah, you do have the odd video that like blows up and gets like 100 k or something and you probably do like secret like brand deals. I, I, I don't really know how YouTubers like make that type of money. Like all I know is how they make AdSense, which is basically the revenue. But like, obviously, this like most youtubers they don't just make their money off that they have other stuff to help them out like merch and all of that so he probably makes money from all all of that type of stuff but still there's no reason to go bragging about it is there like i genuinely can't stand youtubers like this that just go around bragging about their money and stuff and it makes people that haven't got like a lot of money just feel like shit really it's like oh look at me i've got money i'm hard mate just just sit down mate honestly and listen to this clip i'm, I'm just gonna let it play but anyway boys and girls yes you did hear me correct the clickbait king aka Dove has returned. Okay, so you've just called out someone for being a clickbait king or clickbaiting and stuff like that. Well, let's have a look at some of your titles then. What have we got here? I'm going to be a dad telling my girlfriend I kissed her sister. And then we've got this one here, how to deal with cyberbullying. And he's looking pretty sad in the thumbnail. Like, if you didn't know who Ryan was, you'd be seeing this and you're suggested and you'd be like, oh, okay, this, this guy, he's obviously had to deal with, like, bullying in his life and that. He's just making a video, you know, he's really sad. Let's give it a watch. Let, let's look at the intro then. Do you want to see how sad he actually is? Yo, how's it going, guys? And today I am back four days in a row. You, you can just see how sad he is, can't you? He, he's so sad. Let's get a Rip in the chat for Roy and Franklin. And I'm not actually saying that this guy makes bad content because some of his videos are bad and some of them are actually really, really good. Like, I think it's the one he uploaded recently. I don't know when this video goes out, so... Uh, it might be the recent one, but it's basically something like bro versus sis roasted me Like I actually watched that and I really enjoyed it like I'm not even gonna lie But then some of his videos are just just wank really like genuine pure masturbation mate <laughs> You know what I mean? 
And another thing I really wanted to talk about is this guy's ego. Like, it's actually huge. Like, look at this video. I made a fan cry. Like, he's... Oh, my God. His ego is so big, man. And the guy literally had the nerve to make a diss track called Egos or something like that, where he basically called out Kavos for having an ego. And a lot of people are going to disagree with me with this, but, like, I don't actually think Kavos has an ego. I actually really, really, really like Kavos. Like, I know a lot of commentary YouTubers hate him, but, nah, I actually really like him. I I'm not trying to sound gay or anything, but, y you know. The dude is genuinely one of the most hypocritical YouTubers on the platform. There is one good thing about him, though. He doesn't actually like Lewis Clark, and in my books, if you hate Lewis Clark, I love you. Like, I genuinely do. Like, come here and give me a kiss. I'll buy you a co-op meal deal, mate, if you don't like Lewis Clark. But yeah, this is where I'm going to end the video anyway. If Ryan is watching this, I don't actually hate you. Like, I really don't hate you. Like, not, you're nowhere near Lewis Clark's levels. Like, I actually hate that guy. Like, fuck you, Lewis, mate. If you're watching this, y y you da sells Avon. But on a real note, though, I, I don't hate the guy. I just think he's a bit of a twat. But yeah, I haven't really got too much else to say. I've never really, like, plugged my Twitter in my videos. I think I have a few times, but uh, oh well. So if you do want to go and follow my Twitter, it's just at Gucci on YT. Go over there and drop me a tweet telling me my nan smells like cabbage. My Instagram's here as well. I don't really use it, like, I'll be honest, but, y you know, I'm still gonna plug it anyway because, um, uh, I, I don't really know. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video anyway, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here, like, it genuinely means the world to me. We're actually getting really close to a thousand subscribers. When I say close, I mean, like, another 300, but, uh, you know. So yeah, if you do want to drop a sub, then I, I love you. Turn on notifications so you never miss a video have a great rest of your day and yeah peace